Thank you for joining us today, Jennifer. Thank you, Anna It's nice to be here with you. We're here to discuss the emergency happening right now in Pakistan. Flash floods triggered by record monsoon rains have wreaked havoc across Pakistan this summer, engulfing one third of the nation and affecting some 33 million people. Jennifer, can you tell us what the situation looks like on the ground right now? It's, it's different in different areas. I would say in some parts in Baluchistan, which are some of the first affected by flash floods, we're actually seeing the areas are lacking water now. They have destroyed infrastructure. There is uh, a lot of homes destroyed. People have lost all of their livelihoods, all of their supplies. Um, but they are at the stage where they need support to, to move back on with their lives, to, to replant their agriculture and actually to have water because the irony is the water has flown rapidly through their area and they're again facing uh, an emerging drought-like situation. In other parts, such as the south of Baluchistan and all of Sindh, what you're seeing is just water. Water absolutely everywhere. The fields are full of water, and you can imagine, full of water with mosquitoes everywhere. People are on the roads. They're the only parts which are risen. You can see the villages all submerged. Half of the houses fallen down. These are people that live in mud houses. And I think what we're quite concerned about um, is the fact that a lot of the crops have been destroyed. Um, we're seeing, you know, 100% of cotton, which is a major crop for Pakistan, has been destroyed in Sindh. And, and that's going to bode very badly for the future of these people. Um, and in addition to that, there's all of the food that's been destroyed. And this, this is really something that we're quite concerned on as a hunger actor, uh, because it was a country with already one third food insecure and around 50% with, with stunting. So this is gonna become a, a crisis on top of a crisis. And, and the other point is with 1,200 deaths, we're hearing daily reports of more deaths because of malaria, because of cholera, because of snake bites, because of the water. You know, the deaths are just increasing day on day. So this is the situation right now in country. It's very much still an emergency situation. How is Action Against Hunger responding to this crisis? So we're trying to adapt the responses depending on the areas and what people need. Uh, we very early on went into relief activities so making sure that people have access to uh, even things like bathrooms toilets um because that was actually uh, leading a lot of women to feeling uh, very unhealthy because they were unable to find a bathroom during the day they were uh, facing protection risks at night having to go out to the to the few areas which were still dry um you know this is one of our first responses but there's many things that we're trying to do we have nutrition programs that have been going on in Pakistan for three years. And we're ramping up those nutrition programs, providing more medicines because the caseloads have increased. We have plans uh, such as uh, mobile camps uh, for health on boats. And, and we're hoping in the next week to start those activities. But there's been many others like uh, supplements for, for women and for babies so that they, they don't fall into very um, uh, acute malnutrition at this time, um, as well as food for people. So th there's a lot of, we're, we're trying to um, uh, cater to the different needs of different people in different areas, but the needs are very large. What can Canadians do to help? I think I would like to thank what they've been doing so far. Um, I think the, the Canadian Minister for International Development visited SIN this week and we were talking to him about some of the needs. Uh, this is very much appreciated um, uh, because there is a need for support in terms of uh, more operations and that requires funding. And I think that the Canadian government has helped us a lot so far and has just pledged more money towards Pakistan at, at its time of need. Uh, there's also that I would like to thank the Canadian people, because obviously the government is is uh, representing the people and it's the people that are deciding to support Pakistan. And I, I thank all the support that you're doing so far. Uh, if you can provide more support, we know it's not an easy time for anyone globally right now, but these are... Uh, people affected really at a time when they had no resilience left. They, they, they have no coping strategies. So if it's possible, 
please do consider going to actionagainsthunger.ca forward slash Pakistan and donate what you can uh, to help our responses today. And every little does help us. So please do consider, even if it's a small amount, these are people really at the poverty line so that they would appreciate anything that we can do. Indeed, Jennifer, every little helps. I know you have a lot of work to do, uh, so I'm going to let you get back to it. Thank you so much for taking the time to give us this update. I wish you success in your work and hope you can get some well-deserved rest very soon. Thank you so much.